Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hi Yolo with another beer video. And today I have Modern Times Spaceways IPA. It is a hazy Nelson IPA at 6.7% ABV. Uh, the hops are Nelson, Motueka, Simcoe, the uh, okay, sorry. The malt is two row white wheat flaked oats uh, and dextra pills. And the SRM is five, IBU is 50, final gravity 1.012. Uh, not, I'm not sure if anyone cares about that, but the canning date on this is 8-30-2018. Uh, uh, you might be able to see that. It's about a month and a half old. This has been sitting in my fridge for at least a month. Uh, again, just, you know, tons of beer, not getting to them soon enough. Um, but I'm trying to fix that by not buying so much beer or just drinking more beer, but I'm not trying to drink more beer. Um, but let's get the color on this, the aroma, the taste, of course. Hopefully this is still good. Um, I assume it's good, a month and a half. It's not going to be, I, I just don't think it's going to fall off, or at least not nothing, uh, nothing detrimental to the beer, I suppose. Pour with about a figure of head, fluffy, white. Looks like it's dissipating mediocrely fast. Um, if that even makes any sense, mediocrely fast. Anyways, it's dissipating relatively fast, I guess. Uh, just a mixture of tiny bubbles mixed with uh, larger bubbles. The color is, uh, I would say, like a tropical fruit juice of some sort. Uh, like, I don't know, something, something not fresh squeezed, that's for sure. Something from concentrate. Uh, it has this slight yellow hue to it, but it's definitely orange for sure. Very hazy, man. De like you can't see through the through the glass. Uh, you only see like the, I guess my hand, but just like um, I don't even know what to call it. You can't see my hand, but you can see that there's something way on the other side. Anyways, let's get the aroma on this. <sighs> Tons of citrus, man. Tons. Give it a good swirl here. Maybe I can get something else, hopefully. There we go. Getting a lot of ripe pineapples, tons of mangoes in here. Peaches, maybe apricots, but definitely peaches. Or just some kind of rock fruit, actually. Just I'm gonna just say a generic rock fruit uh, aroma. Uh, this plum, not plums, just like peaches, apricots, uh, nectarines. Definitely not plums though, because I just thought about that. I guess plums could be a rock fruit too, right? Yeah, citrus, rock fruit, but not plums, mangoes, pineapples, all that, man. Let's get into the flavor, cheers. Hmm. Some earthy spiciness going on. For the most part, I'm gonna say this is like your typical uh, hazy IPA. Uh, there's nothing, the finish is actually relatively nice. I didn't expect that. The second sip, definitely refreshing. Juicy is a term that gets tossed around a lot. Um, to me, juicy is like, let's say you're eating, I don't know, man. It's kind of a bad example because in my head, I know what I'm trying to convey. Uh, maybe not to you guys, but like if you're eating those, uh, Fruit gushers, I think that's what they're called, and you're biting, you know, you have it in the back of your tongue or whatever, and you bite down, and all that uh, uh, juice filling like kind of burst out, and you get all that flavor. Uh, that's exactly what that finish is like for this beer, at least to me. I'm not sure if I'm making any sense when I say that, but the finish is definitely very juicy. Um, it, it, it's definitely tropical. There's citrus for sure, it's citrus for beer. But you also taste the uh, oats in there, like all of these like beers that have flaked oats in it, you get that oaty, weedy taste, you get that in here. It is definitely a drinkable beer, it's not bad at all, but it's nothing extravagant, it's just another hazy IPA in my opinion. Uh, but you know, it's hazy IPAs, they're all very, very similar. I'm glad that this one has the tropical notes to go along with the citrus because just having a citrus bomb is, again, like I mentioned in my other videos, in my other videos, 
it is it gets really tiring to drink it gets old you uh you kind of just don't want to drink anymore after a certain you know after a certain amount of citrus or um yeah citrus for beers and this has a tropical element that really uh makes you want to drink more of it that juiciness and the finish is very very good It's a little bit more carbonated than I expected it to be, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I don't, I don't really care that it's a little bit slightly more carbonated. And I'm getting slight, like earthy spiciness. Like I mentioned, I didn't get that on the nose, but I'm getting it on the taste for sure. Mouthfeel is, I wouldn't say it's watery. It's not water consistency, but it, is by no means thick or chewy or anything like that. It is not a trillium, it's not a uh, treehouse beer. It's it's still good regardless, man. It's still good. You don't expect a uh, IPA to be super chewy, super thick or anything like that. So this works for it. Overall, I'm gonna say it's drinkable. I would totally get it again. I wouldn't seek it out. I would totally drink it again. And if it was on tap and there was nothing else I want, I do not mind drinking this at all. Uh, this is Spaceways by Modern Times, 6.7% ABV IPA, hazy IPA, brewed with, uh, I think, primarily Nelson, which is why they have it on the can, uh, in the front of the can, and then everything else is on the back, Motueka and uh, Simcoe, I believe, is what I said. Anyways, if you guys like the video, give a thumbs up, comment link below, subscribe for more videos, subscribe for more videos, and as always, dream big dreams and believe all things are possible. Thank you for watching. Cheers.